Okay, good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss about immunology. Already immunology, some of the topics, the completed the last class. So last class immunology. So what is the immunology? So immunology, the lines, the types of lines of immunology, and the types of cells of immunology. The lines of immunology. How many types of lines? The lines of immunology three types the defense mechanism the first line defense mechanism second line defense mechanism third line defense mechanisms already the discussed previous class we discussed in the previous class the defense mechanism first line second line third line the first lines so do you know the first lines can you any anything can you answer anyone can you answer us the first line defense mechanism says the skin mucous membranes lysosome enzymes the tears so already we will discuss we discussed in the last class the second line defense mechanism the second line defense mechanism where the the first line microbiome organisms cross microbiome organisms cross the first lines then it enter the second line defense mechanisms the prevent the microbiome organisms first line second line third lines the prevent the microbiome organisms in our bodies the next uh, the cells of immune system the cells of immune systems lymphocytes that lymphocytes already we discussed in the last class the lymphocytes the b lymphocytes or t lymphocytes and uh, the cells the three types of cells the lymphocytes phagocytes axillary cells already the last class the cells the completed in the second one phagocytes 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 so phagocytes so the phagos the engulfing so engulfing the phagos means engulfing the monocytes the engulfing the phagocytes means engulfing the bacterium sir microbiom organisms microbiom organisms the phagocytes so this is the phagocytes in the, the capillaries the blood circulations or blood vascular system or capillary systems and transforms one place to the another places the phagocytes so in the phagocytes the phagocytes examples in the, some the type of the the phagocytes in the place in the different type of the places in the kufar cells microbial cells the dust cells so the blood cells the monocytes the different type of the cells the kufar cells for examples the kufar cells kufar cells kufar cells the kufar cells where is the occurs in the kufar cell liver microglial cells microglial cells microglial cells brain next dust cells dust cells present in lungs lungs next monocytes monocytes so monocytes occurs in the blood monocytes occurs in the blood so the different type of the cells the phagocytes in the different type of the cells in the different phase where is the occurs in the phagocytes in the different type of the phagocytic cells the transforms to the capillaries or blood transplation circulation the liver brain lungs blood lungs the blood the phagocytes the phagocytes in the two types see the mononuclear phagocytes two types mononuclear mononuclear phagocytes mononuclear phagocytes the second one see the first one polynuclear phagocytes polynuclear polynuclear phagocytes phagocytes the mononuclear phagocytes the very the mononuclear phagocytes the transforms through the blood circulations are capillaries 
the different type of the mononuclears the monocytes necrophore cells occurs in the liver microglial cells occurs in the brain dust cells occurs in the lungs monocytes occurs in the blood Do you know yes next polynuclear phagocytes then i would see the polynuclear phagocytes the polynuclear phagocytes also basophils the neutrophils acidophils the lymph the white blood cells white blood cells in a granulocytes or granulocytes do you know in the polynuclear phagocytes yes the polynuclear phagocytes nucleocytes so you see the granulocytes the polynuclear phagocytes granulocytes for example granulocytes so in the granulocytes how many types of granulocytes the neutrophils neutrophils next basophils basophils next acidophils acidophils neutrophils basophils acidophils these are also polynuclear phagocytes the polynuclear phagocytes ne transforms the blood transportation blood transportations ne polynuclear phagocytes poly means two or more how many nucleus two or more nucleus ne type of the cells is called polynuclear phagocytes polynuclear phagocytes ne neutrophils basophils acidophils next to phagocytes mononuclear phagocytes mono means single nucleus single nucleus containing the cells is called mononuclear phagocytes so what is the use of phagocytes so phagocytes ne engulfing the killing the microbial organisms are engulfing the microbial organisms these also phagocytes the phagocytes how many types two types mononuclear phagocytes and polynuclear phagocytes the next third one is the second one the third one axillary cells third type of the cells the axillary cells axillary cells so axillary cells so axillary cells in the help of the axillary cells help of the leukocytes axillary cells in the help of the leukocytes of the immune system the leukocytes of the immune system the leukocytes the axillary cells help of the the leukocytes the lymphocytes or leukocytes in the help of the immune system is called axillary cells axillary cells in examples the mast cells example mast cells next basophilic cells the mast cells the basophilic cells and the platelets the mast cells and the basophilic cells basophilic cells mast cells basophilic cells mast cells and basophilic cells and another one platelets another one platelets platelets these also these are called axillary cells axillary cells ne help of the the lymphocytes or leukocytes ne immune system the immune systems ne the, the axillary cells the mast cells and basophilic cells and platelet cells are antigen presenting cells antigen presenting cells these are also called axillary cells axillary cells so immune system or immunology immunology network structures network of cells organs the cells organs proteins cells organs proteins they the resistance of the the microbial organisms is called immunology so immunology the three types of the immunological cells the tissue organs the next immunological defense lines of immunology next cells of immunology the cells of immunology the lymphocytes phagocytes axillary cells next organs of immunology so organs of immunology so organs of immunology so many types of organs immunology organs of immunology third one 
organs of organs of immunology or immune system immune system so organs of immune system so how many types of organs yes two types the primary primary organ system primary organs and secondary lymphoid organs primary lymphoid organs primary lymphoid organs lymphoid organs and next second one secondary lymphoid organs secondary lymphoid organs secondary lymphoid organs so primary lymphoid organs where is the place the organs matured where is the place of the organs matured this place is called primary lymphoid organs where is the place so where is the place organs the maturation of the plant places is called primary lymphoid organs for examples bursa fabrisei are bone marrow example bone marrow bone marrow and bone marrow and bursa fabrisei bursa fabrisei bursa fabrisei so bone marrow and bursa fabrisei the primary lymphoid organs where the place maturation of the organs is called primary lymphoid organs for example bone marrow the bone marrow the b cells or t cells the maturations the bursa fabrisei and buds the maturation of the t cells and b cells and b cells adult stage of the animal sometime on there is the b cells so in the primary lymphoid organs the childhood stage the increases the large size of the glands the next automatically so the adult stages the small sizes the next is secondary lymphoid organs the secondary lymphoid organs so what is the secondary lymphoid organs where is the place where is the place the organs the maturation the maturation of the organs are matured cells or matured organs the transforms the secondary lymphoid organ this is the functioning this is secondary lymphoid organs the functioning of the cells or organs the malt malt the malt malt means mucosa associated lymphoid tissues and the spleen spleen so now let's see the clearly observed so the malt means mucosa associated lymphoid tissue mucosa associated lymphoid tissue next the spleen and pears patches pears patches this is called secondary lymphoid organs secondary lymphoid organs so anyway the organs of immune systems so many types so let us see so primary lymphoid organs secondary lymphoid organs so primary lymphoid organs examples the bone marrow and bursa fabrisei bone marrow and bursa fabrisei the secondary lymphoid organs the examples malt and spleen are pears patches the malt now what is the full form of malt mucosa associated lymphoid tissue mucosa associated lymphoid tissue so the secondary lymphoid organs the secondary lymphoid organs so in the where the place the functioning of the cells or functioning of the organs is called secondary lymphoid organs these also the immune systems so in the three types they increases the resistance powers increases the resistance powers or prevention or protections in the 24 hours by 7 24 hours by 7 they protect the the bodies the immunology the lines of immune system cells of immune system next organs of immune system okay is clear okay next antibody structure of antibodies the structure of antibodies are immunology immune immunoglobulins the structure of antibody are immunoglobulins 
the antibodies antigen binding sites so whenever the enter into the antigens antigens nothing but bacteria fungus parasites so etc any the foreign materials any foreign materials so already they so try to always try to enter into the in our bodies the microbial organisms or any any types of microbial organisms so any types of the microbial organisms always they try to enter into the in our bodies so they protect the protect the the bodies different type of the mechanisms the defense mechanisms in our bodies so antibodies produces so antibodies the surface of the b cells surface of the b cells the antibodies produces the plasma produces in plasma or memory cells the surface of the b cells or surface of the memory cells the antibodies so antibodies whenever the enter into the antigen whenever the enter into the antigens in our bodies immediately recognition recognition or identified the anti antibodies produces anti antibodies produces this called immunoglobulins immunoglobulins so any type of the antigens enter into the bodies same type of the antibodies produces in plasma produces in plasma so the structure of the antibodies the antibodies the structure of the antibodies so structure of the antibodies which shape this the antibodies the y shape which shape y shape the antibody structure of the antibodies the y shape of the antibodies y shape now first of all the structure of antibodies discovered by the rodney forber rodney forber rodney forber rodney forber scientist rodney forber scientist discovered by the the structure of antibodies or structure of immunoglobulins the both of the same the antibodies are immunoglobulin the structure of immunoglobulins or structure of antibodies the both of the same they this is discovered by the rodney forber which shape of the antibodies y shape which shape the y shape the four polypeptide chains the antibodies are immunoglobulins antibodies are immunoglobulins four polypeptide chains how many polypeptides four polypeptides two alpha chains and two beta chains the clearly observed two alpha chains and two beta chains are two heavy chains and two light chains there are so the two chains there are so two chains the two light chains the two heavy chains the two light chains and the two heavy chains the variable part the variable part this is the variable part this is the constant part the constant part means uh, the stem the stem part or constant part uh, this is the variable part so why because this is the variable parts the paratope the paratope is the variable part or antigen binding site any type of the antigen enter into the in our body immediately recognized by the, the antibodies or immunoglobulins so antigen antibody the complex is formation antigen and antibody complex is formation this site is called a paratope the paratope the epitopes and the paratopes epitopes the surface of the antigens the paratope surface of the antibodies the antigens antibodies the paratopes and epitopes the binding the paratopes the binding the antigen binding sites antigen binding sites so whenever the enter into the microbial organisms like that virus the bacteria fungus or parasites any other foreign materials enter into the in our body immediately recognition so immediately recognition by the antibodies or immunoglobulins this type of the antibodies produces in our plasma produces in our bodies in the plasma so this type of the antibodies y shape 
the y shape of the antibodies y shape of the antibodies are immunoglobulins immunoglobulins so immunoglobulins similarly recognizations the two alpha chains and the two beta chains the two chains they connected by the disulfide bonds connecting with the disulfide bond so this is one sulfide bond this is another one sulfide bond so disulfide bond the two chains the two chains connecting with the disulfide bonds the two heavy chains the two one heavy chains and the one light chains the connecting with the disulfide bonds so this stem part is the constant part this is the variable part so variable part why because they let us see variable part is a different type of the antigens the different shapes of the antibodies they automatically changes the structures so this is going to the structure of antibodies the structure of l1 v1 the light chains and the heavy chains are l1 h1 so the the structure of antibodies the l1 h1 l1 h1 means the l means light chains h means heavy chains hence the name is called l1 h1 the body structures of the antibodies are immunoglobulins so immunoglobulins that comes in the serum the serums so how many types of immunoglobulins iga igg igd igd ig e and uh, ig m the five types how many types of immunoglobulins five types so what are they in the five types so do you know yes in the five types of immunoglobulins iga igg igd next ige next ig m so ige means uh, iga means uh, immunoglobulin alpha immunoglobulin gamma immunoglobulin delta e means uh, immunoglobulin epsilon igm means uh, immunoglobulin mu so see the immunoglobulin a r g the highest antibodies highest antibodies the cholesterol the first times in the delivery after delivery first times the secretion of the milk highest antibodies immunoglobulin a r g so immunoglobulin a r g the, the production highest antibodies nice the resistance power increases the infants children's so infant children's the protect the, the bodies so protect the bodies their microbial organisms their microbial organisms so this is the, the structure of antibodies the structure of antibodies ante pratideham yokka nirmanamu ninne leda immunoglobulin yokka nirmanam ga perkuntaru సో ప్రతిదేహ నిర్మాణం తీసుకున్నట్లయితే ఏ ఆకారంలో ఉంటుంది అంటే ఇది వై ఆకారంలో ఉంటుంది ఇది దీన్ని ఎవరు కనుగొన్నారు అంటే ఇక్కడ రాడ్నీ ఫోర్బర్ అనేటువంటి శాస్త్రవేత్త కనుక్కోవడం జరిగింది ఈ ప్రతిదేహాలు అనేటువంటివి ఎక్కడ ఉంటాయి అంటే బి కణాల యొక్క ఉపరితలం పైన కానీ మెమరీ కణాల యొక్క ఉపరితలం పైన కానీ అమరి ఉండటం జరుగుతుంది ఎప్పుడైతే మన దేహం లోపలికి ఎప్పుడైతే మన దేహం లోపలికి ప్రతి జనకమైనటువంటిది ప్రవేశిస్తుందో దానికి అనుగుణంగా ఈ యొక్క ప్రతి దేహాలు అనేటువంటివి ఉత్పత్తి అవుతాయి బి కణాల నుంచి ఎక్కడికి ఉత్పత్తి అవుతాయి అంటే ప్లాస్మాలోకి ఉత్పత్తి కావడం జరుగుతుంది ఈ యొక్క ప్లాస్మాలోకి విడుదలైనటువంటి ప్రతి దేహాలు లేదా ఇమ్యూనోగ్లోబిన్స్ నిర్మాణాలు అనేటువంటివి ఏం చేస్తాయి అంటే మన దేహంలోకి ప్రవేశించినటువంటి ప్రతి జనకాలని వెంటనే గుర్తిస్తాయి గుర్తించి ఇక్కడ ప్రతి జనక నిర్ధారిత భాగం ఏదైతే ఉందో దీనికి అక్కడ బంధించబడటం జరుగుతుంది మరి దీంట్లో వచ్చేసి ప్రతి దేహ నిర్మాణం తీసుకున్నట్లయితే నాలుగు పాలిపైపెట్ గొలుసులు ఉన్నాయి ఏంటివి అంటే రెండు ఆల్ఫా గొలుసులు రెండు బీటా గొలుసులు వీటిని రెండు తేలికపాటి గొలుసులు అని వీటిని రెండు భారీ గొలుసులుగా పేర్కొంటారు రెండు తేలికపాటి గొలుసులు కానీ లేదా రెండు భారీ గొలుసులు కానీ దేని చేత కలపబడి ఉంటాయి అంటేవి డైసల్ఫైడ్ బంధాల చేత కలపబడటం జరుగుతుంది సో ఇక్కడ ఈ యొక్క భారీ గొలుసు కానీ తేలికపాటి గొలుసు యొక్క పూర్వాంత భాగంలో వచ్చేసి ఇక్కడ పారాటోప్ అనేటువంటి భాగం ఉంటుంది ఈ పారాటోప్ భాగంలోనే ఏం బంధించబడుతుంది అంటే ప్రతి జనకం బంధించబడుతుంది కాబట్టి దీన్ని ప్రతి జనక బంధిత నిర్ధారిత ప్రాంతం లేదా ప్రతి జనక బంధిత ప్రాంతంగా పేర్కొనడం జరుగుతుంది ఇక్కడ దీన్ని మారే ప్రాంతం అంటారు 
ఇక్కడ ఉండేటువంటి దాన్ని వచ్చేసి ఇక్కడ స్థిర ప్రాంతం అంటారు ఇది కాన్స్టెంట్గా ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే ఇక్కడ స్థిరంగా ఉంటుంది ఎలాంటి మార్పులకి లోని కాదు కానీ ఇక్కడ ఇది మాత్రం ఇక్కడ మారుతూ ఉంటుంది పారాటోప్స్ అంటే ఇక్కడ మారేటువంటి ప్రాంతాన్ని కలిగి ఉంటుంది సో ప్రతిజనకమైనటువంటిది ఎలాంటిది వచ్చినట్లయితే దానికి అనుగుణంగా వచ్చేసి మార్పు జరుగుతూ ఉంటుంది సో ఇది దీనికి సంబంధించినటువంటిది